electric challenger for which my friends, as always, are blindfolded. Blindfolds in place, panel? Yes, yes sir. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? <laughs> In this case, a different form of questioning, one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise. And we'll begin with um, Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, are you a curvaceous cutie in show business? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Are you a male in show business? I sure am, Cookie. Miss <laughs> Francis? Are you, a, are you primarily a comedian? Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> no, that's two down and eight to go, Mr. Neither Hanson. would I. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear your question, Slim. <laughs> Wait, I'll point it out to you with a fist. <laughs> are you a very good friend of mine? Not anymore, I'm not wise guy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you have it, buddy? Well, I just know that uh, Joey is working in Philadelphia, so... Uh, You've uh, lost two friends now, Slim. <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw a card on that. I three. keep talking, I'll lose Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> three out of seven to go, it's darling. It's real lost. <laughs> uh, do you appear in motion pictures? I sure do. <laughs> Mr. Sir? Uh, have you had a picture on Broadway within the last three or four months? A big picture? I sure have. Miss Francis? Is it a picture that was up for an Oscar nomination? That's a nasty sort of question to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. That's four out of six to go, Mr. Hackett. What are you going to do with the pistol I gave you? Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. You please. know what it is, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, it's not Joey and it's I... not Bobby. Could I try for Tony? What did you say, Dorothy? You can Dorothy? try anything you want, Kitty. <laughs> well, that it's not Tony, huh? No, no, we didn't say that. We said you could try anything you wanted. All right. Is it Tony Curtis? No, it's not. That's six down and ten to go, Miss Sir. Have you ever been on the panel of this television show? I sure have, wise guy. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Randall? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Buddy, you've got to start making a whole new circle of friends. <laughs> Oh, you're washed up with the old crowd. <laughs> oh, that was great. And the happy <laughs> month of August. Wow. And I was leaning in the first time he spoke to see if I could catch the sound, you know? And he went way up and blew past my ears. <laughs> Only a dog could hear him. Oh, golly, that was a wonderful voice. <laughs> my wife said, don't use that voice because it sounds exactly like you. No, it doesn't. <laughs> sounds a lot like her. <laughs> The nine faces of Dr. Lau. Seven. 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 Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to add, I was going to be clever. I was going to say nine voices and seven oh, faces, and I got it mixed up. The seven uh, faces of Dr. Lau. That's one picture that's current. Isn't it? Yes. Brass bottle. Brass bottle. <laughs> that, that surely is enough. That's enough. I've just uh, completed another one called Fluffy, but, but you didn't even ask me about that. I mean, but how many hours a week <laughs> are you uh, planning to work next week, for instance? I don't have a job next week, and I was hoping there'd be an opening on the panel. <laughs> well, Tony, we had a wonderful time with your visit. It's a joy to have you every time, but you sure shook them up. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thank you.